we are camped out at a church here in Edna, Texas. This is a Redeemer Lutheran Church. Sometimes I forget where we are. Um, and uh, a lot of people have asked us how we make things work uh, when we're going from church to church, sharing our music mission uh, with congregations throughout the country. And we really can't afford to stay in RV parks all the time. That would pretty much be a deal breaker for us. So, so for the most part, we are camped out in church parking lots. It's not dry camping entirely, but it's also, uh, we don't have full hookups, so it's not like staying in an RV park. So we're just going to show you how it's different and how we make it work. We are all set up, the jacks are down, we are in, I don't know if you can see, we're in the middle of a parking lot, and uh, there's the church over there, and then the parsonage where the pastor lives is right here. And so the first thing that, that we always try and figure out when we're, uh, when we get to a church parking lot is where is the nearest outlet. The closest outlet is right over here on the parsonage. So, as you can see, we've got a, an extension cord, and then we have a, uh, that goes over to here, and then we have our, uh, uh, a, uh, an adapter that goes from a, uh, a regular 110 uh, uh, outlet to a 30 amp uh, RV outlet, and then we've got our RV plugged, hooked up to that. And that's how we get our power. We always pretty much have to use our air conditioner in the summertime and um, uh, with 10 of us in this trailer uh, it struggles to keep up and because we are on a 110 uh, 15 20 amp outlet that's usually all we can do so we bought a generator and as you can hear probably it is running right now we have a 2000 watt champion generator and I uh, just mounted it on the back here on a, on a bumper hitch uh, and it's bolted down and, uh, and I've got it uh, secured down with some cable locks and it, it's been there now for uh, a couple years and we've used it quite a bit. And it's a great little generator, quiet as you can hear right now, it's on. Um, and I've got it wired to plug into appliances such as our microwave and our instant pot and our um, um, what else we use an induction cooktop and whatever else we need to use in there that uh, uh, we'd not be able to use with the air conditioner running because uh, if we did that we'd pop breakers oh and also the most important thing would be my coffee maker one of the questions that we get asked a lot is what about tv we do have a tv in fact we have two tvs in the the trailer we do a lot of dvds um, and we rent uh, movies at redbox uh, we do that quite a bit, but as far as TV itself, all we really have is that antenna. That is an RV antenna, it just kind of cranks up and we, we get it here. It swivels around, we find the stations. I've got an app that, that shows me where stations are and I can kind of direct the antenna. Uh, and really, the, the only TV station that we are interested in and this is a plug for this station, I guess, but MeTV. MeTV is, uh, if you've never heard of it, is a station that shows only old shows like uh, Dick Van Dyke and I Love Lucy and uh, Gilligan's Island and the Brady Bunch, things like that. And, and that's really what all my family enjoys watching. Uh, so uh, a lot of times, though, we don't get MeTV. I don't think we get it here in Edna. And so we're, we're without TV pretty much, uh, and we do, but we do, like I said, do DVDs and things like that. Most churches either give us a key so we have access to the church or they'll leave a door unlocked during the day or something like that. And so we can do a lot of things inside. Come on in. We come into the churches a lot to use the kitchen sinks to wash our dishes. 
uh, because we have limited tank space for 10 people. In this case, the church has a double oven, and so... Now, that's awesome. I mean, those... Actually, there's four ovens. quadruple oven. oven. There's four ovens yeah. there, and... And two convection Two convection ovens. ovens, yeah. So, in this case, we did a lot of cooking here. Elijah made a deep dish pizza pie yesterday and some cookies. So, things like that. We'll take advantage of the kitchens if the church isn't busy. Um, same, as, same with the refrigerator. If the refrigerators are pretty empty, sometimes we'll get some ice or... Ice is pretty exciting for us. And sometimes we raid the pantry and they have cookies and Snickers. Don't tell. Don't tell the vicar. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you did not hear that. Those are for anybody. Oh, you got some uh, some of Elijah's uh, big soft ginger, ginger cookies? Great. Oh. They are good. I can eat like a hundred of those right. things and, you know, I think he said he was go into a cold. diabetic coma. <laughs> <laughs> and die happy, right? Yes, now. <laughs> that's right. That's the important part, you die happy. It's baños. We use the bathrooms a lot, uh, washing hands well, uh, preserving our black tanks for doing all the things that you do in a bathroom. And we should, we should point out to people who don't know RVing that we have... An RV has uh, three separate tanks. One is a uh, freshwater tank, which is for ours is 30 gallons. Another one is the gray water tank, uh, and another one is a black water tank. Uh, gray water is for soap, soapy water from the sinks, things like that. Black water is toilet water, uh, and anything else that goes down in there. And uh, and with a family of ten, that space is very limited. So. Pe Pequ I thought it was Pequito. Oh, Boy, I just need to get this Spanish thing. Oh, muy, oh, po po tiny. muy poco. Not <laughs> That's all space. I know how to say. Um, <laughs> anyway, so it, it is really nice to be able to, to use the bathrooms and also the kitchen to be able to preserve our tank space uh, to where we can actually stay in a church parking lot for more than a few days. Sometimes we spread out. We use the fellowship hall. In this case, we had some meals in here, and we did a bunch of puzzles, played a few games of life, a few games of tag, hide and go seek. There's usually a piano we can use to practice. Some churches have extra rooms where our kids can spread out. There'll be a mother's room with books and toys, usually a nice place to sit, fall asleep. Sometimes there are other rooms like lounges or office rooms or something where some of our kids will sit and read or do their studies. Um, Marissa works on her, her college classes, stuff like that. Of course, not all the churches are equipped with other rooms for us. Some have nothing, some uh, have a school or meetings going on all the time, and so we, we don't get to spread out in those churches, but uh, but sometimes we do. So we never quite know till we get to a church if we're going to be in the trailer the whole time or we're going to have something like we have here at Edna where we have numerous rooms and plenty of space at our disposal. We never know. It's part of the adventure. Hey, what are you guys doing? Ooh. What's Ellie doing? She's making a pretty picture. Up comes the yellow sun. Train first, you see the sun. Ed loves to read. Done. Well done, green train. Have fun, blue train. Otherwise known as Judah. <laughs> and uh, also, one of the questions that we get is, uh, what about showers? Well, we just don't. We don't take showers. Just don't come too close to us. <laughs> we do bathe. Um, we just don't do it. You know, the way you normally you do, do in a house. So we do baby wipe baths. Uh, once a week we do go to an RV park where we are able to get either full hookups or there are shower houses and things like that. Life on the road, uh, the way we do it, uh, without full hookups, uh, without the benefits of, of uh, uh, RV park amenities, things like that, you know, it does have its challenges. But we are very blessed that we are able to um, have churches to have a place for us to stretch out, to cook, uh, to go to the bathroom, just to hang out, the kids hang out. Practice piano. Practice piano. 
So that's pretty much it. I'm sure we've missed some things and, and probably didn't answer some of the questions that people might have. So if you have other questions about it, uh, please leave a comment uh, down below this video and we'll try and answer it and maybe we can make a, a, another video answering those questions. Just for you. Just for you. So that's just a little little highlight of, of how we camp out in church parking lots, uh, how we do things. And by the way, uh, I should also say uh, that our trailer is fully self-contained. We do have a bathroom, we do have a shower and a bathtub, kitchen, what else? What else do we have? Oh, we have books. beds. Oh, beds, yeah. <laughs> and books. And books, and Kindles, and computers, and tablets, and air conditioning, and heating, and... Uh, but and still, when we see a church with a library and space and a kitchen, we take advantage of it. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. And thank you, all the churches out there that... Thank you. ...that trust us with your keys. We have not burned down any churches yet. Although, we do have extra keys on our key ring now from, from keys that we've uh, accidentally walked off with. And we have a little bit of a police record. <laughs> yes, we've set off a few alarms in the past, so... Um, you know, that's just, that's just one of the exciting things about living on the road the way we do. Uh, well, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, uh, give us a like down below. Uh, leave your comments. We'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to our channel. All Yay. right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.